Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Kerber Space Program. This is Designs of the Week, Episode 20, and we are going to start off with the Scorpion Bomber. Okay guys, as you can see, this aircraft is a VTOL, and these fuel tanks don't last very long, but uh, this thing does work out nice, like, quite nicely. So what we do is throttle up, and it is moving already, rolling on the ground. There we go. And let's try and move forward and uh, shoot at those buildings. Well, there's one of them. If we can. Stuttle up. Stuttle up a bit more. Do I have cheats on? Oh, I do. Okay. Don't worry about that. Ignore it. Yeah, I was, I was wondering with the liquid fuel why it wasn't wasting. Alright, that's fine. So as you can see, here it is, and if I've organized it in the, in the uh, action groups, if you press 1, that shoots out, if you press 2, that shoots out, and we have gone out of control, if you press 3, that happens, and we are going to fall down here. <laughs> but it's fairly nice to try out, let's just try it one more time. Oh yeah, we do have uh, parachutes as well. I forgot about them. <laughs> so essentially, throw a lot. You turn. It's very slow at turning. Maybe if I added a few wings, it would help. But no, of course not. Alright, we've gone out of control. Oh, we're almost there. Not easy to control, that's for sure. <laughs> Alrighty. Almost there. Again. We are very close. Oh shit, that happened. Wait, three. Parachutes. Parachutes. Hey, we survived. That's good enough. We survived. Alright, let's just test the parachutes from a high enough altitude and see how that goes. Now, I did have another version of this design where it wasn't a VTOL, but it did have jet engines at the back here. But it wasn't easy to control. Alright, going up. <laughs> up. Up and away. Should be going forward. Here we are. Come on. Almost there. Uh, if you should waste any time, actually. Very quick. Alright, let's just slow down. Let's press 1 to attack. That's pretty cool. Press 2. That's not good. Let's press 3. And those are Separatrons, by the way, that have been decoupled. And as you can see them right now, but when they fall down, they come, out, come down like bombs. Let's press spacebar for the parachutes here. We're going quite fast. This is not going to end well. Yes, as you can see, it did not end well. Let's see if we survive. Okay, we did not survive. That was bound to happen. <laughs> Alright, go guys, next design. Okay, this is an actual design in real life. It's called Lockheed Martin RQ 3 Mark 1. I was wondering how I was actually going to design this. But, it, yeah, it turned out good, actually. Look at that. It's pretty stable. We do have some struts underneath there. With a small hard point connecting the struts. Because the struts can't go from all the way down there to here. They have to be connected via something. But, yeah, this is nice. It's a bit hard to turn. You have to press E and D if you want to turn right. And, of course, the lift rating is crazy. Because this is, you know, built mostly out of wings. Smoky bays. Alright, let's turn it. Okay, come on. Do your job. Do your thing. Yeah, one thing that I want to do is some guy, uh, what was his name? I don't know, some YouTube guy. He's not popular at all. He managed to build a ship, right? Just a very small ship, an SSTO, that went to Lathy and back, which is, you know, quite a cool thing to do. I can easily do it if I want to. It would just take quite a bit of time. And good designing because 
you, know, you need to design a very well aircraft or rocket if you want to go all the way down there with an SSTO. If you're wondering, SSTO is single stage orbiter. But yeah, this isn't working quite nicely. Let's uh, extend these monkey bays. Okay, let's try and land, turn off the engines. Come on. But yeah, it's quite cool this design. Okay, come on. <laughs> it's just jumping up and down. Look at that. Ah, oh, not anymore. One of the wheels were in the air for a second there. But yeah, that's pretty much landed. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, it's very easy to use. Anyone can use this. Look at that. Quick. Can easy turn ring. Very easy. Let's see how I can go in altitude. I'm curious. I'm just wondering uh, when or if the KSP developing team or developer team will add another solar system. I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to have to be further than Elu. It's going to have to be quite far, actually, if you're thinking about it literally, like in real life. That would be quite nice, actually. Oh well, yeah, and maybe if they add like uh, a comet or something that goes past the sun every 1,000 years or something, right? <laughs> and if we can land onto a comet, that would be awesome. And don't forget the all, all the nice, cool effects that comets have. 800 meters per second. You kidding me? Yeah, this is a good design. 1,000. Hey, high. We're pretty high. What? I didn't think this could do that well. Look how fast we're going. That's a pretty good design. I think we could have went even faster because we were going, you know, in an upward direction mostly. If I did it right, it could have definitely went more well. Let's fast forward. No, we're still going up. Still going up. Okay, maybe we can control it now. Should be able to control it. Come on. Show me the money. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Alright. But yeah, there's real life design. I doubt it can go this high in real life, but yeah, it's good. Nope. Get to the other side. I want to be on the apoapsis. Please. Whatever. Throttle up. That could help. It's going to burn or overheat some parts. What do you call it? Damage. Nothing yet. I just pressed F3 if you are asking. Hey, yeah, this is quite stable even though we are going backwards. No overheating yet. Okay. Okay. I see. There we go. Straight in the periapsis. What do you call this? A retro burn? <laughs> Alright, that's looking good. And anytime now, watch the magic happen. Watch the magic. There it is. The periap apoapsis is here. Alright. Uh, 1,500 meters per second. Jeez. We still have very good flow. It's increasing too. Wow. Cool design. <laughs> very good. I guess we'll just leave it see how it goes. Put the nose down a little bit again. We still can go up in altitude anyway. 1,600 meters per second. That is awesome. You know, with the re-entry heat they are adding into the game, I'm just wondering, Eve will be a very da dangerous planet to visit. Including Jewel, of course. But Eve, like... Eve has a very thick atmosphere, right? I think you are going to need a strong ship with a high impact tolerance or what do you call it, heat shields or something to protect your ship because it's going to be crazy on EVE everything will be burnt up easily if they do everything properly I don't know, it'll be interesting to see maybe I'll go to EVE as soon as 0 0.19 comes out there we go it's finished, that's all I can do okay well it's a nice design isn't it fast forward my friend, fast forward well, that's this design. Uh, our max, our highest speed achieved ever land was 2,187 meters per second. And, yeah, that's pretty good. It's very good. 
Max GeForce 12.1. That's good as well. Huh. Okay. And highest attitude achieved was 42,701 meters per second. Nice. Okay. Well, next design. I just thought I'd uh, make a small rover since the next update is going to be all about rovers. We should get into the mood, shouldn't we? So that's, this is all this rover can do. We have RCS, of course. Uh, RCS is there. It doesn't last very long. We do have lights as well. Lights on. And that's all this thing does. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And I think it smashes a lot. Does it smash? No. Only when we turn like that, it smashes. So don't go 53 meters per second on Kerbin. Alright, this is known as Martin Marietta. As you can see, it lifts up by itself. And it is slightly shaky, that's the only problem. Where are we just concentrating on the wings, are we? I don't know, wait, let me second. Change the camera angle. Free. Alright, it's shaking. That's because of the wings. The little wing surfaces back there. We do have a duplicated amount of RAM air intakes there. With two engines. It is a light design, let's check inside. Um, there are plenty of wings actually inside, you can see this wing there. And, uh, and then we do have jet fuselages, three of them from the looks of it. Yeah, so three. We have lights there, we have a battery, we should have one on the opposite, yep, we have one there as well. And that's all this design does, very nice. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm going to make a space base that is adjustable to become a moon base or a planet base, you know, something like that. It's going to be a very funny base too, by the way. You guys will might think I'm an idiot, but it's going to be quite funny. That's for sure. And it's got a cool name to it as well. SAS, SAS, save me SAS. Save me! This is the same problem I had before. Damn design. Oh, whatever. You get the point. It's like, It just turns by itself. It's annoying. Come on, turn. There you go. Stay the way I put you. Don't use this design, people. Don't use it. It's crazy. It's too shaky. Alright, let's extend this Morgi base and try and land on the ocean. Here we go. Alright, we need to throttle down for the ocean landing. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, I'm gonna stop turning. Shit. Ah, it's got a very strong lift rating. Hey, I'll just turn the caps lock. Yeah, that's better. That helps. Whoa, it doesn't help. Okay, go land. Land, I tell you. Ah, oh, perfect. Hey, hey, there they go. How did this survive? Hey, it's moving quite fast. Fast forward time. Whee. Ah. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, that is the end of this episode. Uh, next episode, I don't know what we are going to do. Probably subscribe with designs. Oh yeah, I do have like four small episodes recorded as well. I don't know if you guys like it. If you don't like it, I'll just stop recording it. But I'd like to play it. But, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See ya.